right to market. That's a question a lot of people have. What does it mean? It's changing your mindset. It's begin with the reader in mind because this is what you're trying to, who you're trying to entertain, who you're trying to bring on board to read your book, to uh, buy your book because we're realizing the value from our words. And that means the reader. How do you keep the reader happy? You give them what they expect. So that's what the reader in beginning with the reader in mind. Writing to market means you're hitting the tropes within that market in uh, science fiction. Science fiction is a huge market, has been for 40 years. And one of the things that uh, readers expect is science in the science fiction. So you ignore Star Trek The Next Generation and you, you look at some of the things that happen in there and say, ah, there is science. Of course, they ignore what the real science is, but that's a different, that's a completely different issue. The tropes, people are looking for science in science fiction, even if it's fantasy <clears throat> or fantastic, shall we say. Aliens is another trope within science fiction. You run across aliens, how different are they? Uh, or once again, you go back to Star Trek, all you do is give them a little bit different forehead and you got an alien. Uh, um, no, <clears throat> those, are the, those are tropes. Those are tropes that you need to hit. So you write what they want to read. That's that's the most significant part of writing to market the they. And this is this nebulous, massive marketing group that you're trying to target. So that's what write what they want to read. The same but different. Make sure you hit the tropes and alien. You can make it look what whatever you want, but got to have that alien, or you got to have the. Uh, uh, the science part of the science fiction. Now, here's where here's where people get confused. Write what you're willing to write. Say, oh my God, reverse harem is hot right now. I better write a reverse harem. Stop. If you if you haven't read it first, you don't know the tropes, and it, it's not going to the readers aren't going to just embrace you because you call it something that it may not be. So the best thing you can do to write to market is read in that market, read those books, read as many as you need to read to get the idea. And that doesn't mean read one, the most popular book in that, in that genre. That's not how it works. Read a bunch and see what the trends are and research that and then write your book. So it's easier to write to market if that's the market you read. You don't have to do any extra research. Hey, I read this stuff. That's why I did science fiction. That's why I did three thrillers. So uh, I, I haven't written beyond that because this is what I read. I, I don't have time to do additional research. And to do it right, I need to do that additional research. So <clears throat> that's what you're willing to, that's what you like to read. Hey, you can write it. That's what I'd like to write. That's what I'm willing to write. Don't try to dive after something that's not you. Uh, it will be painful and you're not going to like it. So stay focused. Don't jump around market. This is what I've determined. And I'll go after it. Write the book, finish the book and keep going. <clears throat> don't just say, hey, I wrote one book in that uh, market and it's horrible and, and people didn't buy it. So obviously I don't know what I'm doing. My first thriller, very, very well received. People consider it one of my best books and it still hasn't sold very well, but it's still, it's there. I will always have it. I will always be able to sell it. So deliver into that market <clears throat> the same, but different. Hit the tropes that the readers are expecting, and then they will grow to embrace you if it's a good story with the tropes. What they expect, but different. And market is much, much bigger than trend. I remember when uh, authors were trying to create the uh, uh, urban fantasy prison, reverse harem prison romance, uh, something or other, and it just didn't It just didn't resonate. I, I think they, they hit it tried to develop that market and it just never uh, materialized not like a pure reverse harem or harem those two uh, uh, sectors are pretty well established and have gone beyond trend to become market so if you're just trying to dive in and out what what's hot this month you're going to have a real real painful existence it's going to be hard to keep writing to the right market to those tropes because you got to stay up on what the tropes are especially if it's trendy and, and different so market is easier market is broader right to market right what you like give the readers what they expect look at it from the reader's perspective perspective what they expect is the same 
but different. That's why you see covers that look similar from a bunch of different authors in a, in a market because that gives the reader that first look that says, hey, this, this is what I expect. Now let me see why it should hook me. Great blurb, bring them in, great story, then they buy your next book. That's what you want. And that's what writing to market is all about. All right, everybody, you have a great day.